Hey, what's up guys? Travis here with Every Single Sunday and uh, I'm getting ready to start a new project. If you didn't see this here yet, this is a 2021 Gas Gas EC300. Um, picked it up over at AEO Power Sports in Marietta, California. Super excited to get this build going. And uh, as I start compiling parts for this build, I figured it'd be a great time to kind of sit down and put all this stuff into some videos for you in case you're wondering what I do to my bikes to make sure that they last out on the trail. Now, there's a lot of things I do to my bikes to make them last out on the trail. Uh, today, we are gonna specifically focus on protection. That's gonna be your skid plates, hand guards, rotor guards, stuff like that. And I'm gonna kinda go into the pieces that I use here and explain to you guys why I use these pieces, why I've selected these pieces when there's so many brands on the market to choose from. Um, so my main discipline of riding is hard enduro. I'm not very good at it, but I have a great time. I'll be competing in the full uh, AMA Extreme Championship this year, except for the first round. I gotta miss that one um, out in Page, Arizona. So anyway, I'm gonna start prepping my bike here and I wanna go over the parts that I'm gonna use on this bike uh, so you guys can check them out. Um, the biggest piece for me, especially on a linkage bike like the Gas Gas here, is gonna be a good skid plate. Uh, skid plates for me, I love these right here. This is from a company called AXP Racing. Uh, it's a French company. And to me, this is the best skid plate available. Um, so the reason I like the AXP stuff is, I'm gonna call it plastic, even though there's some like HPDE or some crazy type of plastic right here. So basically it's cut, it has brakes in it. They plastic weld the inside. These things are virtually indestructible. Um, the skid plate I have on my 2020 KTM that I'm going to be selling is also from AXP because I've been running their stuff for a long time. And that skid plate was on my 2018 before that. So I probably got close to 300 hours on that AXP skid plate that I'm using right now between the two bikes that I've had it on. Um, not only is the plastic durable, it's very slippery. If you use metal, sometimes you'll hang up on the rocks versus just sliding across them. So um, if you look at the skid plate on my other bike, and I'll drop some pictures in for you, it is hammered, it's destroyed, it's got some melted spots where the pipes come back in, but it kept, but it just keeps asking for more. It's never popped off, it's never broken, anything like that. So uh, AXP skid plates, for me, this is as good as it gets right here, and I highly recommend it. Um, if you do have a linkage bike like this one, this section right here comes off the back. If you have a PDS KTM, you get like basically here forward. Um, <clears throat> on top of that, there's a pad that goes right here that's replaceable. So if you do wear it out, because these get quite a bit of load um, from the linkage on them, you can replace that piece. All right, XP skid plate, definitely worth buying see what's next on my list here so I don't miss anything bump 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 fork lug protectors and fork shoes okay so we're gonna jump into the Cherubis products that I like to use and this is their rotor guard right here basically um, as you can see it comes in well you can't see it comes in two pieces you need to buy the adapter for your bike which uh, goes in place of your factory wheel spacer here. And then you buy the actual rotor guard that goes on the outside. And they have two styles. This is their new one. It's kind of a square edge. They also have a round one that fits a little tighter that I've been running. I'm gonna try this one out with the new bike. Um, now, if you look at this, you can see that it's very flexible here. Um, and you're probably going, why do I want that? Why don't I want one of the metal ones that sticks down and is gonna really protect things? Uh, for me, this is not here just to save the rotor. It's here to deflect the rotor away from rock. So if you come down and hit something, this is gonna bend, it's gonna touch, it's gonna move around, but it's gonna deflect you off the rock away for it and save the rotor. If you go with one of the metal ones that stick down, they're so stiff, they're so rigid, and like I said, metal likes to grab things, so it gives you a bigger piece that's gonna come down, less clearance, and I've tried the metal ones in the past, and I feel that they stick on the rocks and can really grab you. So, great way to keep your front rotor from getting bent, one of these Acherby's uh, front rotor guards here. <clears throat> also from Acherby's on the front end are these two guys right here. Uh, basically, these are your fork lug protectors. Uh, they bolt in on the pinch bolts of your KTM, Husky, Gas Gas, whatever. And what they do is they provide protection to the bottom. Um, if you're out playing in the rocks like I am all the time, I, I suck by the way, so that's why I need all this stuff. Um, you just end up hammering the bottom of your forks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. These little plastic pieces, they deflect stuff, they slide over stuff. And when you go to sell your bike, it's gonna look a lot better if you have these on there. Take them off, throw them away before you get rid of it. And 
it's just a nice part. I think they're 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Really cool piece to put on the bikes. And uh, like I said, from a Cherubies as well. So get a set of these. You can pick them up at AEO Power Sports. You can get them on bikebandit.com. And uh, it's going to be something that you definitely want to have on your bike. Next up, let's move to handguard since we're in the front still. Um, one thing the gas gas bikes don't come with is a handguard. If you get a KTM or a Husqvarna, they come with the flag handguards. Those are the ones that stick out, but they don't wrap around. Um, I'm a big fan of wraparound handguards. Um, I've smashed my hands and falls a few times, and I feel having a wraparound handguard is good for me. So for protection, I really like the Cycras. Uh, they come in two pieces. Well, actually, three, four, five, six, whatever. Um, there's the main aluminum structure that goes to the end of the handlebar here and to the front of the handlebar here. You get this big oversized piece that'll bolt onto here, and uh, it helps protect you from sticks, twigs, all that stuff. Uh, out on the trail, things aren't always trimmed up. There's also a, sl a slider piece that goes on the side here. So big fan of these Cycra hand guards. Uh, this is the CRM Pro Bend. You can get these at Bike Bandit as well um, or your local dealership. Um, I picked up a lot of the stuff at AEO Power Sports because I was there, it was in stock and uh, I wanted it today. So yeah, but check out bikebandit.com. You can get pretty much all this stuff right there. We got a fantastic website for you. So we got that. Um, Swing arm protectors. This goes down the side of your swing arm and it does a couple things. One of the reasons I really like these is they're black and I think having a black swing arm looks really cool. Um, if you checked out my Project 250SX we built um, last year, I actually powder coated the swing arm black. Um, looked absolutely beautiful, loved it on the bike and I would love to do it to my off-road bikes but first day I'd take these out in the rocks it would come off. So anyway, um, these are from a couple different companies. This one here is from KTM. You can also get them from Polysport. They do about the same thing. One thing I do recommend though is to help these stay on, put a giant hose clamp around the middle right here. Uh, through the holes, you gotta cut this a little bigger and that'll make sure it doesn't get pulled off because if you get jammed up in the rocks, sometimes the zip ties break and these come out and they get lost on the trail. They're about 30 bucks and uh, you get both sides. Really cool piece. While we're talking about swing arms, let's check out this piece right here. This is from Bulletproof Designs and this is just their swing arm protector, I believe is what it's called. And this goes next to your chain guide down on the left hand side, right along the back, bolts in using the two factory holes. And basically what this does is protects the two tabs that come down that hold your chain guide because they're very, very exposed and it's very easy to break them off, dent them, crush them, and basically ruin them. You, you break those off, you need a new swing arm. So this piece right here, super easy to install protects it, helps deflect the rocks away from those two pieces. I'll drop a little picture in right here for you so you can see exactly where this goes. But uh, from Bulletproof Designs, something you definitely need on your bike if you're gonna play in the rocks. Another piece that's very, very important for a hard enduro bike or someone who likes to trail ride hard and drops their stuff is a good set of radiator guards. Um, I've gone between a couple different companies. This one right here is from Trail Tech. These work very well, but honestly, I love the pair from Bulletproof Designs. I feel they're a little bit more heavy duty. They're specific for the 2020 and up bikes. The Trail Tech, you gotta trim the shrouds a little bit. Um, but basically what this does is it fits down the inside of your radiator and it bolts onto the frame through these two spots right here. And then uh, on the Trail Tech, it bolts into the side of the radiator on the side here. Um, with the Bulletproof Designs, they have some little tabs that come over the key in. So it's gonna keep the radiator from bending back it's going to keep the radiator from getting smashed in if you drop the bike. And uh, it's just a good insurance piece to have on your bike to make sure your radiators stay in good shape because they are expensive and uh, some radiator guards will help prevent that. The last piece I want to talk to you about is a clutch cover. Um, now this is your factory clutch cover that comes on a KTM. It's very similar to the factory one from the Husqvarna and the Gas Gas. A little bit different color, different style between each of the bikes. These are not the strongest. If you've run one of these and you ride on the rocks, you've probably broken one. It could either be from your brake tip coming up and puncturing it, or you might've dropped it on a rock and uh, put a hole in there and all your gear oil comes pouring out. Um, so this piece right here, there's some covers available from a company called Trail Jammers Designs. I don't run those, I never have, but the guys over at Trailbound love them and 
Chris beats on his bike like no one else. So that's one option. For me, I really like replacing this with a unit from uh, Henson. Henson makes awesome clutch components. I run the stock ones, it's just what I like. Um, but Henson's clutch cover is billet aluminum. It's very, very strong. And uh, I'd have one here to put on my new bike, except I plan on taking it off my 2020 and transferring it over to my gas gas here. Um, and that will be the third bike that I've had that part on. Those pieces are pretty much indestructible. They're gonna last uh, through the years with you. So if you wanna check one of those out, hints and clutch covers once again, get it at bikebandit.com, get it at AEO Power Sports, your local dealership, wherever you shop for your stuff. Um, you can get that part. It's very strong, it looks great, and uh, it's something I think everybody should have if they're gonna go play out in the rocks or if you wanna just spruce up the bike a little bit to make it look and run even better. And our last piece we we're gonna talk about, probably should have done this while I was on the swing arm stuff. This is a rear rotor guard from Bulletproof Designs. Um, like I said, I like the Bulletproof Design stuff. I run their swing arm guards. I really like their radiator guards, this being the Trail Tech one, both good though. And this piece here from Bulletproof Designs is beefy as well. Really easy to install and what it's gonna do, this shark fin portion right here is gonna come down alongside your rear uh, brake disc so that if you do hit a rock or something, it's gonna support the weight of the rear bike and save that rotor from getting bent up. Um, this goes in place of a factory unit that comes from KTM. Basically, it's the same shape plus the rotor guard here. So you basically just remove one of the pins, screw it in here, transfer your caliper over, done. Also, it has this little standoff here and this one, and you can actually get a, bar, uh, you can get a bracket that goes over the rear caliper if you want. I've never run one, but uh, protects the whole caliper if you drop the bike, so. Anyway, guys, that is our awesome video on protection parts for hard enduro, enduro, or guys who just want to help protect their bike a little bit, no matter what it is you do. Don't recommend all this stuff for the track. It gets a little heavy. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Um, if there's something I missed or another part that you think I should be using, post up in the comments. Tell me about it. Uh, besides that, guys, check out bikebandit.com for all your OEM and aftermarket parts and accessories. Thanks for watching. Get out and ride.